Welcome to the top six new features in Fusion for November 2025. This month's release includes a mix of long requested enhancements and foundational upgrades. This was a huge release, so make sure to also check out the blog for all of the details. Let's dive into a couple of our favorites. This update brings a major improvement to how Fusion handles 3D and 2D PCB synchronization. Until now, 3D PCB assets could quietly go out of date inside of your mechanical assembly, requiring manual regeneration of the 3D PCB. With this release, that's no longer the case. As soon as you save a change to the 2D PCB, both that 3D PCB and assembly can receive these updates directly. Of course, these also work with milestone mechanics and versioning, including new support for renumbering reference designators across schematic and PCB. It works just like mechanical components, bringing the ECAD workspace in line with MCAD workflows for more predictable, reliable behavior. This ensures your assemblies are always up to date with the latest board design and eliminates guesswork in electromechanical collaboration. It's a foundational change that improves trust, transparency, and productivity in board-level design workflows. You may have seen this next update demoed live on main stage at Autodesk University 2025, and now it's being delivered. Sketch Auto Constraint gets supercharged, with Autodesk AI doing the heavy lifting. If you've ever built a sketch, you know you end up with tiny gaps, slightly off-axis lines, or nearly tangent arcs and you know how frustrating it can be to fix. With this update, Fusion detects and automatically corrects those small geometric inaccuracies. Next time you finish a sketch, you'll see a new sparkling icon in the preview dialog, denoting a cleaned up and repaired sketch. You can also fine tune the results using sliders to adjust tolerance, applying up to five types of constraints. This update alone will improve and speed up every single sketch you create saving you time and rework. Centered Constraint is also here. It's one of the most well-received enhancements in the Insider community. With this update, you can now instantly center components to one another using a single constraint. No more creating temporary midplanes or other construction geometry just to line things up. It even works when the faces you select aren't perfectly parallel or have curves or draft angles giving you a fast yet adjustable way to get parts aligned exactly where they need to be. It's simple, powerful, and another step towards making the fastest and most intuitive assembly experience in any CAD tool. The new whole template editor is huge for manufacturers. And if you've heard us talk about it before, you'll know how excited we are. It's one of our favorite features this year. This tool lets you define complex hole signatures visually using cylinder, cone, and torus segments with specific sizes or tolerances. You can even filter by color, thread type, or PMI values to match only the holes you want. You can preview matches directly on your model, assign priorities to templates, and fully control the machining operations down to specific tool selection. This level of automation not only saves you time, but also ensures consistency in your manufacturing process. Fusion now supports machine over holes across all 3D toolpaths that use machine and avoid surfaces. No more switching workspaces and manually creating capping surfaces for every pocket or hole. This functionality was previously limited to geodesic and flat toolpaths, but now it's available more broadly. Depending on the toolpath, the checkbox to enable it appears either on the Geometry tab or in the Machine and Avoid Services table. Once enabled, Fusion automatically caps or untrims the selected services behind the scenes, allowing your toolpaths to machine over closed holes and pockets seamlessly. This update is part of a larger shift. Expect the Geometry tab model section to gradually give away to the more powerful machine avoid workflow going forward. We've once again made a major upgrade to turning workflows in Fusion, starting with a completely reworked tool orientation UI in the library. With this update, you'll find new options in the setup tab that make tool orientation much more intuitive. 
giving you the flexibility and eliminating the need for awkward workarounds when using tools in unconventional assignments. Most importantly, tool direction is now decoupled from spindle direction. This also unlocks new capabilities, like negative diameter turning, ideal for gang tool lathes or using the same tool for both outer diameter and inner diameter machining. You can now program profile, groove, and thread operations on the negative side of the part. No workarounds such as post edits are required. And now, for the first time, you can set spindle direction per toolpath, so there's no need to duplicate tools just to change direction. These updates give you more control, better accuracy, and cleaner programming experience in Fusion Turning. And that wraps up the top features of this month. But as a bonus update, we've added a revolutionary new concept, a trash can. That's right, a trash can. Fusion now supports deleting designs even while referenced. Fusion has historically blocked the action of deleting design to preserve stability, but now you can go ahead and delete away with Fusion guiding you through the impact. No more renaming, moving, and browsing unused or unnecessary files. Keep what you need and delete what you don't. You'll see clear warnings and options to remove or update affected features, helping you clean up your model without breaking downstream work. As always, we love hearing about how you're using these tools. Drop a comment, share your feedback, and keep an eye out for what's coming next. Thanks for watching.